Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your Chromebook from the sign-in screen. Now this is very useful, if you forgot your password and you can't log in, there's nothing really much you can do, you can browse as a guest, but you won't be admin or the owner of the Chromebook, and you won't be able to reset it going through the settings and all that. Uh, that option won't be available if you just browse as a guest. Now, as you guys can see here, I am the owner. This is my personal Chromebook. I'm just doing this as an example to show you guys how it works. Now, let's say I'm typing in wrong password, then it's going to tell me your pin of password couldn't be verified. But let's just pretend I forgot my password and can't log in. So the way to reset it is from this screen is we're going to use four button combo. We're going to use Alt. Control, Shift, and R. So Alt, Control, Shift, and R. I'm gonna press them at the same time, and hopefully this works the first try. Sometimes it takes a few tries to work, and here we go. It works fast, so all we're going to do now is even if we're not the owner of the Chromebook, even if we don't know the password, the pin, we're still going to be able to factory set it. Now here it says reset this Chromebook, power wash to reset your Chromebook to be just like new. All user accounts and local data will be removed. This means if you have more than one account, if you have two, three different accounts, but you just forgot the main account's password, you will be able to reset it, but all those accounts will be deleted of this Chromebook. So this Chromebook, after we do this, will be just like new. So just when you buy a new, take it out of the box and that that screen will show up where you will have to enter your Wi-Fi, enter Google account, whichever one you want to set it up with. So keep that in mind. Now we're just going to do power wash. And now it's going to tell me again the same message and we're just going to do continue. And we're just going to wait a bit, but the main setup screen should show up. This process usually takes a minute or even less than a minute, so. And there we go. And there we go, just like that. We, we were able to factory set the Chrome from the sign-in screen. Now all you have to do is just pretty much get started. You're going to choose the Wi-Fi. You're going to choose the account you want to set it up with. It will give you a couple different options, but this is pretty much the way you get it when you buy a new and out of the box. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.